I was thinking would be us, you and me. Hello, good afternoon, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Nice. I connect this. I was connected. Things. Hello, guys. Connected or connecting? Connected. Oh, you I were connect connected. Since what? What time? Uh, like a five minutes ago and nobody was here. And I said, well, maybe something is wrong. <laughs> no, no. I said there was class. I just came from uh, uh, from picking up my daughter. And it was a mess in the traffic. But I am here almost on time. Okay. So, sorry, guys. I still continue with my pretty face looking like a dad person <laughs> no, muer, like todavía me veo como una muerta yeah, but sorry uh -huh. mm, the good thing uh, that you're here okay espero que los demás se vayan conectando i'm going to text them that we have classes we actually texted before and i believe a minute later that i connected it was not a big deal right um for uh for them not to be connected all right so I don't think, actually, you said that you were connected five minutes ago and there, there are only two more people connected, right, Brandy? Or did con right. did somebody else connect to the class? No. No, right? All right. So they are joining the class, all right? Oh, it, it, it was raining. that the, the traffic was crazy. I went to Santa Tecla from Suchitoto I, to because Santa it's Tecla. Driving. It's a mess, really. It's a, oh, it's a headache. But thank God I'm here. Come here, uh, come here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so today we will finish the section four. I know it's not a big deal of session four. Uh, we probably start the next uh, level, the next session that is gonna be the five, or the section. Uh, yeah, section five. Oof. So welcome, welcome one more time. We will continue with the present, Um, I mean the past perfect, okay? So in this case, I know some of you uh, already know how to use the past perfect, but we have more time to practice. All right, we had more more time to practice, so this is what we're not gonna do. This is the video we had already watched, right? Yes, teacher. Mm, no, actually, that was another video. The one we saw yesterday was. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's the one we watched already. To that yeah. last event. And I have put my stuff in my locker. So th that I have put so, my stuff do you in hear? my locker is the past perfect. Event. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so now we're going to review more a little bit about the, um, the positive and negative statements. Okay. So let's watch this video. And then you give me more examples. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to form past perfect statements. We'll learn the structure and practice. So let's get started. In our previous lesson, we learned about the past perfect. And it's always important to keep that in mind. So we use the past perfect to express an event that occurred before another event in the past. Uh, today, what we're going to do is we're going to learn about the structure. So let's get started. I would like to start by making positive statements. So the first thing that I would like to point out is uh, just the structure and then we'll see how that structure works. Let me just make this a little bit bigger so that you can see clearly. So in order to form the past perfect, we're going to have a subject and then that is going to be followed by an auxiliary. That happens to be hat, as you can see there, color in red. And then after that, we uh, 
we're going to follow the past participle of the verb. So we're going to include the past participle of the verb. And then finally, we will have a complement to that sentence. In the example, we see that we're using the past event and the past perfect event. And that's because we're combining two tenses together and we're using those accordingly. So as you can see, we, we see the past event here and then we have the past perfect event as a continuation of that. But I, I mentioned that um, we, the, these sentences can be separate or they can be together. So let's look at the examples at this time. Um, I mentioned that we're going to have some sort of subject, so we're going to say someone, all right? And I'm going to borrow that second example that you see there at the bottom. Uh, this follows the auxiliary verb. This, in this case, is going to be hat, and then this is going to be this is going to follow the past participle of whatever verb that I'm using. So in this case, uh, the verb is steal, all right? And the past participle of that verb is stolen, okay? Mm -hmm. So someone had stolen my wallet. Just to emphasize uh, what we're doing, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, try to see if I can if I can point this out in the right place so that we can clearly see what is it that I'm talking about. So the subject is someone. All right, so I should color this maybe blue, or the same thing as it's in red, the auxiliary verb is in red, and then the past participle is uh, the verb that we're going to use in uh, the past participle. So in this case, I'm using the color uh, green. So let's look at the other examples that are on this chart up here. I have put my stuff in my locker. So first of all, we have the subject is I. It follows the auxiliary verb had. And then the past participle of the verb, in this case, is put. Um, and then we will include a complement. I have put my stuff in my locker. My stuff in my locker will be the complement. Um, finally, we have another sentence uh, that we want to emphasize. So let me do that right now. Okay, so we have, I have forgotten to lock the locker. So uh, once again, we have the subject in that sentence is I the verb have the past participle of the verb forget it's forgotten and then the complement becomes to lock the locker now quickly what I want to explain is how to make negative statements in the past perfect let me go ahead and um, give a couple of examples here um, there are no negative sentences in this little chart so I'm gonna make those and I'm gonna try to um, <coughs> make sense of them so let me first explain the structure of that. Uh, so the structure to make negative sentences, negative statements or negative sentences. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, the only thing that changes is that instead of had, we're going to include hadn't. Uh, by the way, this is also the same thing as saying had not. So you might see that either by saying had not or hadn't. Now, the most common thing to do is that we will use the contraction. All right, so most of the time, you'll see contractions to that effect. So let me give you then a few examples, and then um, I'm going to have you do a few examples as well. All right. So I'm going to try to see if I can fit those in into the structure that we see here. Subject is I. In this case, I mentioned we're going to use hadn't. All right. So let me just make sure that we're using the appropriate colors here, just to make sure that we're understanding what we're doing. So. Uh, in that case, that's the auxiliary verb, uh, and in this case, because it's a negative, we, we're going to say hadn't. Um, then we use the past participle of that verb. Uh, so in this case, um, it's lock. Uh, the past participle of that is locked. Um, maybe another quick example that you can probably relate to is the following. So I'm going to go ahead and write that. I hadn't finished my work, so I couldn't leave work at at that time. So what I would like for you to do next is I would like for you to Practice these concepts, practice making positive statements following this structure, and practice making negative statements. You can follow this structure. Okay. So after this, we have another that is the past perfect question. But before we continue, we are going to do uh, some other 
uh, some other examples, okay? Um, example, I had um, I had already called my daughter when she called me. I had already called her several times after she called me. La llamé un montón, le había llamado un montón hasta que me con or after, after she answered me. Oh, until she answered me. ¿Cuáles expresiones podemos ocupar? Podemos ocupar when, until. Uh, if you see in the examples uh, here. Can I say you haven't called her several times? Negative? Mm -hmm. Yes, in negative. Yeah, you hadn't or you had not. That is more common than when you use the negative statements. Uh huh. Had not. Hadn't, hadn't or hadn't. Yeah, it's more common hadn't. to use it like that. But you see that in these other examples, you see that I was working. I was working out. Here it is. So we are also using. Um, so I can say I I was talking with you and you had you hadn't called her. Uh, okay, yeah. I had um Como yo estaba hablando contigo y tú no la llamaste realmente varias veces. Y tú no la habías llamado. Ajá, y tú no la mm -hmm. habías llamado. Estuve estuve hablando contigo y tú todavía no la habías llamado. I was talking yeah, to I you. Was, I was mm -hmm. talking to you. But and you, but hadn't you hadn't called, called her. Her. Call her. her. Okay. Estuve trabajando todo el día y no la había llamado hasta hoy. All right. So I got, I had, I was working all day and I hadn't called my daughter until now. Wow. So, okay. mm -hmm. so you can also say, you say, I was able, you were able. The verb to be, uh, uh, be able is, is this, is to be, um, um, to be capable of do something, right? Poder hacer algo, okay? So uh, we have some expressions like, um, let me see, until I had called her um, several years. times. I had called her several times until she answered, until. Um, but you can contrast, but she, había llamado, but she didn't answer, pero nunca me contestó, okay, um, but she never answered, uh, also, you say when, remember, it was yesterday we were talking about when, and we use the simple past as well, not only simple past, you see that we can also use I was talking, I was calling my daughter. Yes, I was calling. They were able, simple past, but you can contrast a uh, past continuous uh, or simple past, any action that happens in the past. Remember, past continuous can be used as well, not only simple past. I was okay. working <clears throat> all day. And I had forgotten to call her, to call my daughter. No les ha pasado. It, you're working all day. You're doing a lot of work or uh, homework or any activity. And you forget to, to call anybody, right? Or to get to send emails, to do something else that is really important. So that is when we can use as well the, pa the past perfect. Okay, I was working all day and I hadn't for and I had forgotten to call my daughter. Oh my god! But at the end, I called her. Um, at seven p.m., but she did not answer. Se enojó porque no le contesté. Did. She did. She didn't. Uh -huh. She did not or she didn't answer. Mm -hmm. 
she didn't. And, y aquí el otro, recuerden, y si es negativo, pues el verbo no lo cambies. Ahora, another example. I had called her, or I have um, another example. I had called her several times. Until she answered. Okay. I had. I had. Um, tried. To get in touch. With her. When I quit. Ahí sí que ya desistí, ¿verdad? Ok. Está, estuve tratando de, de contactarme con ella cuando ya mejor dejé de hacerlo. Ok. When I quit or when I stop doing. All right. Doing it. Now, give me examples with negative, right? Uh, not only the simple past, also with the pa uh, past continuous. In this case, you use was or were, remember? Plus the verb with the ing. Uh, she were cleaning up. She was. Lab. She were. Why she were? She was. Mm -hmm. I say was and you say what? <laughs> no, you say where. Okay. She it's something that was. happens to you. You say was with, with you, you say were with third person. So remember, it's the opposite. Todo, todo el tiempo nos confundimos ahí. Okay, so she was. She was cleaning up the house. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me see what is the connection. Yeah. And she hadn't. Uh -huh. It's your computer. <laughs> I thought yeah, it was my yeah. Computer. But I don't know why <laughs> it's not accepting the, the charge. I don't know why but it's not. Two teacher. <laughs> yeah, it's. I have. I hope. Now it's charging. <laughs> okay, I had tried three times to charge the computer and it didn't work. It didn't charge. Me, si se fijan, la traté, la había tratado de conectar like three times and it didn't connect. Y no me conectó. Okay, pass continuous. Sorry. Oh, oh it, uh, it was not connecting. It no se estuvo conectando. Okay. Well, That's another example. I had yeah. plugged my PC several times or many times. And it was not working. Or it was not charging. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bless you. Thank you. Okay, anything else? Any other example? I got one. Uh, uh -huh. You were raising your hand when the teacher had asked you something else. Okay. You were raising, yeah, raising your hand. When the teacher had asked you something else. Okay. Had asked you, right? Mm -hmm. Something else, yeah. okay? Is it okay? Yes, of course. Estuviste, teacher, esta, you estuviste you levantando la mano cuando la teacher había preguntado algo más. Uh -huh. Y ya usted como que no era lo que quería contestar. Brandy. What my example said. 
What does my example say? Say. What does my example say? What does my example say? Say. She was, I was. She was cleaning up the house, and she had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell me. Is, is the, home, the homework finished the homework and 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 she had not finished the homework okay sorry uh, ando un poco despistada uh, but remember ahorita me distrajo la computer y si no hago lo que tuve que hacer verdad yeah, se me apaga okay. so, no, lo siento no, porque no le, no le escuché no le puse la atención porque tenía que terminar esto right yeah, sorry. It's okay. Okay, yeah, sorry. Es que un buen ejemplo. It was a good example that just happened, right? Okay, so, yeah. I was cleaning up and she had not finished the homework. Nice. Um, maybe what, what was yours? I was thinking about the beach. <laughs> hmm. What about and if I sell um si I yo have, dijera, si yo dijera o si yo digo. If I would say. Okay. If I say is in present, if I said is in past. Okay. If okay. I say stay. Uh -huh. Okay. I, I have never seen a beautiful beach until I went to um I went to um uh Rotan. Oh really? <laughs> until I went to Rotan. I don't know Rotan. But I went to Punta Mango. Mm -hmm. Punta Mango is, is beautiful, yeah. Here. Mm -hmm. In El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's beautiful. I already beautiful. also. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know many, many, many beaches here in El Salvador, but uh, this this one was very nice. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very exclusive. <laughs> but uh, very what? Exclusive. Uh, very exclusive, yeah. It. It is like a virgin beach, you know. Yeah. There, are, there are not many people who know who know these these beaches, or these beach specifically, and that is why you know the government is trying to invest a lot in um, roads or highways to yeah. uh, to to uh, to bring or to to get more tourism there. Yes. Good. Ever, are you there? Are you not going to participate or you're just listening? Or what happened? He's just listening. Mm -hmm. He's taking the chat. Oh, okay. Okay, I didn't, I okay, didn't I see that. He can, he can text. You can text, exactly. You can also text. Okay. Well, um, good examples, guys. Good examples. Now, we have another video. Let's see if this is not too long. Sorry, I just have a question. Yes, uh, just to be sure, the these samples are for past perfect, right? Past perfect. But past remember, perfect. uh, we insist that past perfect is used mm -hmm. to contrast another idea or to talk another past action that happened before, right? Right. Uh, for for example, well, you gave me a lot of examples oh, yesterday. I have mm -hmm. one example. Two past actions. Yes. Um, it's like uh, you was sniffing when you you were ah them you were sniffing and you couldn't uh, you hadn't covered your ah. mouth. <laughs> okay, you were sleeping. No, 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 no. Uh, sniffing. Oh, it's not going ah. to. Ah. <laughs> when you sneeze. have to... sneeze, sneeze. I think it's this sneeze. But it is a progressive. You were sneezing. You were sneezing. 
Yeah, a chew, yeah. chew, sneeze. Uh -huh. You were sneezing and you mm -hmm. had not covered your mouth. Okay. I, uh, okay, your mouth. I I thought you were saying, hey, you were sleeping and you didn't cover it, but and you were uh, hadn't covered yourself. So I covered oh, you, that's, right? That's a good one too. Uh -huh. Good, yeah, similar. Um, Cover your mouth. Nice. <clears throat> nice, guys. The, um, we're going to do a competitive. Vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso, ya que los demás no estuvieron en la clase. Lo vamos a hacer solo para los, que, los exclusivos de la clase, ¿ok? Porque en la sección 4 ya prácticamente la terminamos, ¿verdad? Y ya vimos los past perfect questions. ¿Quieren ver este video? o hacemos un repaso de todos los tiempos que tendríamos que saber ya. ¿A qué más ropa? Pregunta respuesta. <ríe> bueno, es una forma de practicar. Ya. Yeah. Nice. For questions, did you watch the video already? No. Vaya, no right. to that. So no I yet. saw this video like two weeks ago. Really? Three years ago. Weeks. Oh, okay. Todo se lo echó ya. You you studied all the all the model, right? And uh, maybe did you watch the video? Yeah, but in a hurry. <laughs> in a hurry. Okay. And the in this case, we are going okay. Uh, Brandy, ask me some questions since you already watched the video a, a long time ago. So you don't remember, maybe, right? No. Let's watch it, okay? Remember that uh, uh, the less Hi, I speak, the better What? for my throat. Ahora sí me conviene que vean estos videos. At the end of this class, you oh, know yeah, that's good. how to form questions yeah. using the past perfect tense. Okay, take so, notes. Let's get started. I would like to start off by presenting the formula, if you will, in order to form past perfect questions. So let me include the formula now to this document, and then I'm going to write a couple of questions and then we're going to try to make sense of those two questions there. So let me start off by having a yes or no question and then we're going to try to make sense of this particular question of course following this formula that we see here. So first of all um, if we have a yes or no question I will start by using hath that's the auxiliary verb all right and I'm going to go ahead and color that real fast just to make sure that we are understanding this particular topic. I think I'm using green color there, yeah. And then uh, this follows the subject. In this case, this happens to be you. So let me put a little blue color there. Uh, then uh, we will use the past participle of the verb that we're using. So in this case, it's the verb study. Okay, there we go. Um, and then we have a complement. So that uh, in black, you see that that's the complement of this particular question. So the question is, had you studied English before taking this class? Right. Um, and um, that's how we form a yes or no question. Now let me write a WH question. Uh, and WH questions, well, uh, what that means is that we're going to include a WH word. And we do that whenever we want more information about a particular topic. Uh, this, the way to do it is almost the same thing with the only difference that we will include a WH word. As you can see there, we have a WH word there. Um, and then had continues to, we use the auxiliary had, uh, we include the subject. Uh, in this case, we include the past participle of the verb and then whatever complement that exists. So the question is, where had you studied English before taking this class? So maybe the answer to the previous question was yes. And then we went and uh, we asked a second question. Where had you studied English before taking this class? So what I would like for you to do now is to practice making lots of questions in order to make sure that you're understanding this particular topic. Okay. So remember yesterday we had a lot of examples <clears throat> and we're going to add these ones to make them questions, okay? No, let me see. Don't 
todas estos los vamos a hacer en preguntas. Ajá. Come on. But we have more. If you want to make uh, the questions here, aquí tenemos los ejemplos que vimos ayer, algunos, ¿verdad? Ok. But before, con estos tenemos más que suficiente in the meantime, all right? And then we continue with the with the rest. Where are they? Espérenme, no era este. Este era. Sorry. <laughs> ¿Qué se hizo, chicos? Hmm. You should use word. Yeah. No sé, ese blog de notas ni se le puede cambiar color ni nada. Anyways, um, no, we can use the um, another like this. We can make these examples here that I am. Okay, eh, eran más las que hicimos, pero con estas ahorita, right? Y, y aquí tenemos las de ayer, así que we can make questions with those sentences, okay? We didn't practice questions. Con WH questions, no solo W, no solo el, el las, las simple, like, had uh, past participle, sino que con WH questions. Ayer hicimos esta. Y es súper fácil, ¿verdad? Si no, solo, si era negativo, if we are talking about negative, so we change the, um, it hadn't, aquí sería, it had not, ¿verdad? Aquí es donde dice, he hadn't, también, después de had not. ¿Dónde va aquí? I had not thought. Exactly, aquí, sí, ven que es súper fácil los negativos, ¿verdad? Solo se agrega después de hadn't. O sea, en el caso que... Um, I had not. Ahí, ahí, ahí dice, I have not... Hmm. Es I más hadn't. así, I hadn't. Ajá, así en negativo es más así. I hadn't. I'd already, my son hadn't, hadn't. Ahí está. Uh, where is he? You hadn't. Negative. You hadn't watched more before you. Had you, aquí se sí hicimos unos ejemplos, miren. Uh -huh. Pero ahora quiero que ustedes me den un par de ejemplos más. Uh, when and the WH question. With ah, WH question. No, with WH question, como sea. Uh, either or. With WH question or without a WH question. <clears throat> Vamos, aquí tenemos los ejemplos. Solo es de ponerlos en preguntas. Nobody? The same sentences. The same sentences. You okay. can give me more, your own examples, but if if you don't have something else, you can just change this into questions. No problem. I'm not sure about this because it's, it's, uh, I'm having a hard time with that, but this is, is, is okay. Where have you been all this time? Is it okay? Of course. Where have you been all this time? Mm -hmm. ¿A dónde te habías metido, verdad? ¿A dónde habías estado? Mm -hmm. All this year could be no time. Yeah. Uh Either. All this year. Where have you been? ¿Qué te habías hecho, verdad? ¿A dónde te, o a dónde estabas? Uh -huh. 
Where have you been all this time, all this year, all this month, all this uh, decade, right? All this year, yes, and especialmente been todos been estos learning? años. Mm -hmm. Yes? It's almost the same. Where have you been or learning English? All right. <coughs> In that case, learning. Boy, Learning. Aquí estamos ocupando as ese, mire. Where have you been? Ese es un past perfect continuous. Learning. Okay. okay. El past perfect solo es así. Sujeto. Aquí está. Sujeto ad, 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 auxiliar. Verbo en pasado, participio. Ok. En este caso, en lo que usted dice, Brandy, that it's, for you it's easier to say, have you been learning? I have been learning. I have been studying. I have been running. I have been um, uh, studying. I have been working. I have been drinking a lot. This is the progressive. Ese es el progressive. Todo lleva being, ¿verdad? Pero el verbo principal en este caso es el que cambia, con ing, ¿verdad? O sea, being sí, learning, sí, being sí. studying, being walking, being talking, being listening. Uh -huh. Así que yeah. ese sí es más fácil, como usted dice. Solo le agregamos being a todos, más el verbo con ing. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Pero en este caso, have you been? Uh, ¿O dónde te habías quedado? Where have you stayed? Podríamos decir también. ¿A dónde te habías quedado? ¿Verdad? All this time, ¿a dónde estabas? Uh, where have you lived? ¿A dónde habías vivido? también podría. Ahí sí cambio el verbo, ¿verdad? Pero eh, acá el verbo principal es learning, ¿ok? Eh, y el being, have been o had been, ya es, es, es present perfect, en este caso es pasado perfecto continuo. Uh -huh. Past sí, perfect sí. continuous. Uh -huh. But yes, it's okay. Yeah. Aunque no es el mismo tema, pero igual. Yeah, sí, sí it, se puede. It. Ok. <risa> But it's good. So, solo para que nos recordemos que también existe, ¿verdad? Oh. Pero si lleva con ING, oh. es un poquito diferente. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Que esto ha sido continuo, ¿ok? Desde hace tiempos, ¿ok? Eh, igual, ¿verdad? All these years... ¿Dónde, te hab ¿Dónde habías estado viviendo estos años? Okay. ¿Dónde habías estado viviendo antes que te vinieras a El Salvador? En ese bueno, caso, acordémonos que el, es, estos ejemplos, these examples are used to talk about something else in the past. No solo esta, es, esto eh, así, sino que también es para preguntar, ¿y a dónde te habías metido estos años? Se puede. Eh, Until you came back, hasta que, hasta que regresaste. Yeah. Sí, está bien, pero como les digo, lo ideal es contrastar dos pasados, ¿ok? Tell me more, tell me more. Aquí están estos, no nos, no nos compliquemos, hagamos estos nada más si gusta. Nobody. Espéreme que lo veo que tenemos que no lo vemos mucho. Sorry. ¿Por qué no ocupa word, teacher? If you use word with new page on word, you can text or type more. And I you don't know. The, I um, like to have it as presentations as well. Ah, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I sometimes use Word, but I I prefer when the teacher had asked you something else. Um, in the beach, for example, Rotan. Uh huh. Why have you never seen the beautiful? Eh, ahorita estoy ocupada en el examen. No, ahorita no. Estoy en el examen. 
Where? Thank you, Brandy. Thank you for respecting the class. I know, I know sometimes we get distracted, but okay. Uh, thank you I'm for, for, yeah, th thank you for taking care about the class. I appreciate it. So when, um, ¿a dónde estaba esta? You were in one, two, three. Oh, four. this one. Okay. <clears throat> so let's do it. I say why when or why, why? hadn't you uh -huh. hadn't you never si ya digo hadn't no uso never o had never o had hadn't o hadn't oh. ajá entonces por qué no habías you? why hadn't you y aquí simplemente le ponemos lo demás sing a beautiful beat okay ajá o why had you never? Si ya uso el not, el mismo never es como que lo hace negativo. Entonces son como dos negaciones ah, al mismo tiempo. Cierto, hadn't you negativo. never se oye raro. Solo had you never or hadn't you seen a beautiful a beach until you went to Rogatan. Ah, Good okay, question. Okay. Si se fija, lo hacen negativo. Si podemos hacer preguntas en negative también. Yes. Good job. Ok, ya tenemos esa. So. Oh, yeah, Ok, so le voy a cambiar los colores a esta para que ya para que veamos que ya tenemos la respuesta. Ok, so you can have a more. Uh -huh. You can talk about the rest. You can change the rest in questions. The second one after Batan. Uh -huh. mm, this one. Yeah, uh, I think I got okay. that. Okay, tell me what would be the question. Uh, uh, why hadn't you covered your mouth when you sneeze? Yeah, ah. why? That's right. Okay? Sure, sure. So, you Yo say... la vi y ella dijo la respuesta. <laughs> la okay, nice. Yeah, good, we good connect... example. We were connected. <laughs> uh, we were connected, very good. So, why... Hadn't you covered? Uy, pero aquí le puse, aquí me faltaba la ed, no me la habían dicho. Okay, covered, all right, covered your mouth, all right. When you sneeze. Pero es que sí, eso creo que es así, ve, sneezed, okay, y este es sneezing así, okay. Vamos a chequear el spelling. I don't remember. Se, créanme que hay cositas que a veces a uno se le olvida. Ok. Sneeze. Let's see. Porque está el snooze también, pero esa es cuando las como que uno... Las alarmas las pospone, right? Sneeze. Oh. <coughs> ok. Ahí está, entonces, sneezed, ajá, y el pasado, aquí está, ¿verdad? Here, sneezed, sneezing, ¿ok? Entonces era así, con doble E y no con doble Z. Sorry. I should take some pills in a moment, because I have a headache, and I'm getting a little bit Okay, next. Um, why was the the other example here? When you sneeze, cuando tosiste, okay, o cuando estabas tosiendo, when you were sneezing, no importa, de las dos formas está bien. Una que cuando tosiste o cuando estabas, perdón, estornudando sería en este caso. When you were, cuando tú estornu, <coughs> estornudaste. O cuando estabas estornudando. Esto significa que estornudé y ya estuvo. Pero como estuve estornudando todo el tiempo, entonces ocupamos el were, el were sneezing. You were sneezing, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? ¿Me explico? Eso es el pasado continuo con el simple past. ¿Se acuerdan? El pasado fue como una vez y ya estuvo. El pasado continuo fue continuo. Por eso se usa con ING. ¿Ok? Um, vamos a ver. 
English conjugation. No sé por qué siempre me sale eso. Okay. Now, <clears throat> any other guys? Sorry that. The, the next one. Mm -hmm. Have you um have you already sent the email? Okay. Give me just a moment. Had you already I sent the like email? That. Okay. That's good. That's it. Mm -hmm. Let's copy this, paste it, and then you just add why had you? What had they? What had she? No importa. Ocupemos what? otro, otro que no sea. Um, I, ok, podemos cambiar el sujeto también. Why had <coughs> the students, en este caso no uso already. Yeah. Yeah, ok, el already se ocupa para afirmativo. Ok, eso se lo voy a quitar. Why had the students send the email yet? Ahí sí le puedo poner yet, aún. ¿Cuándo se los habías pedido? Si es pregunta, ya no digo already, digo yet. Es, ya, digo yet. ¿Me explico? Yeah, y yeah. se pone al final. Y se pone al final. ¿Ok? Why hadn't the students sent the email yet when you asked for it? Okay, aquí aquí no es necesario, feel... ¿verdad? Ok, pero aquí no es necesario. Aunque si yo, por ejemplo, ha, uh, I have already eaten. Oh, have you eaten yet? <coughs> es más común ocupar el yet también. O oh, el yet es para negativo también. No he comido. I haven't eaten yet. Ok. And I say, she just ate. Como justo acaba de comer. Uh, she has just eaten. She eaten. has just eaten. Ajá. O oh, she has already eaten, ¿ok? Oh, pero en negativo, she has not eaten yet, ¿verdad? She has not eaten Sorry. yet. Eaten, ajá, uh -huh. eaten, ajá. Uh -huh. Nice. Uh, thank you. Good example. Ajá. Uh -huh. And what about the rest? ¿Los demás que no me faltan? Ok. Uh, let's quit for that, uh, for a moment. Creo que solo hay un ejercicio más pendiente para terminar la sección 4. So we can finish the section 4. And then we're, we're fine with the, uh, with the program, right? I know uh, to some of you, no, this is not yours. For uh, the, um, the lady sent, I think she's Paola. Uh, the lady sent uh, like a notification that you needed to have um, finished or to have completed the, the section five by Monday. And I already told my boss that that is not possible since we are going to start the section five on Monday. So por lo menos que no den hasta el martes, ¿verdad? Si no, miren ahora, nadie se ha conectado. O sea que para, si terminamos la sección 5 lunes, martes, miércoles y jueves, ya no vamos a tener, ya no vamos a tener estudiantes. Entonces, ¿de qué se va a tratar la clase? No puedo estar dando la clase a la carrera y después no tenemos material, ¿verdad? Porque, o sea, hay un montón de material, pero con que a veces no hacemos las cosas que están aquí en la plataforma, mucho menos vamos a estar, ¿verdad? Con, con los otros con los temas extras, que obviamente aquí no podemos dar gusto. Miren los libros de texto, ¿ok? Pero right now we just finished the past continuous, eh, past continuous, simple past, <clears throat> or past perfect, ¿ok? So you will tell me what will be the best option, ¿ok? Oh, no, what the option, the best option be. What will the best option be? Así sería, ¿ok? All right. Uh, mm -hmm. the number one is... Uh, broke into. All right, but read it completely. Don't be lazy. Uh -huh. A thief <laughs> broke into. Para que uh -huh. le dé más sentido a la oración, okay? Complete. All right, a, th a, a thief 
uh, broke into our house last night while my sister and I were picking up uh, pizza for, for dinner. <laughs> Thank you. Next. 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 Um, this okay. I'm available for you. All right. Scroll down. Mm -hmm. Yes, we were. We had left. Okay. I guess we had left the we door. We had open. left the door. Uh huh. Locked because that's how the thief got into the house. Okay, very good. Mire, because, si se fijan, it makes a lot of sense. Creo que, creo que habíamos dejado, ¿verdad? La puerta así para que él, él entrara a nuestra casa de ladrón. Okay, good. Next. I was shopping with some friends yesterday. I were. I was shop with some Or friends. Shop. I were shop. Shopping. Shopping. Sorry. Vaya. Mire, tres mistakes ahí, ¿verdad? I was, I were, no. I was, y no, I shop. I was shopping. Si pongo el pasado was, tiene que ir con ING. Entonces, has, I was shopping. All right. Pay attention on this, on this, on the sentences, okay? <clears throat> And I lost my keys. Okay, now the next one. Lucy Lee. Luckily. Ah, luck, luckily. Luckily. Uh, luckily. I had given a friend a copy of them. And she came over and led me into my apartment. Okay. Luckily. What's the meaning? Afortunadamente. Afortunadamente. Luckily. <clears throat> Afortunadamente. Luckily. Oh, fortunately. Mm -hmm. I need no. glasses. Okay. I know. Parece que es el nombre de, como de Lucy o algo así. I know. Uh, hello. No. No, baby. I, I need you to meet my daughter. Impress. Vení, baby. Okay. Yeah, uh, she nice. can she can hear us. Hola. Like you. Right. <laughs> let me let me give me just a it's second. It's your copy. Okay. It's your copy, teacher. Exactly, but he looks like you. Uh huh. She is your copy. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? She's like me. This. Everybody says the same that we look look alike. Okay, my little clone. <laughs> I was actually preparing here today. Yeah, I was preparing some spaghettis. Did you, did you like them? Okay. <laughs> oh, she she speak English. She, she understands. Oh. Wow! Amazing. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Menos mal que está estudiando en el colegio. Es que se les oye bien, bien suave. Fíjese con. Uh, I cannot hear you very well until I put um the speaker. Uh -huh. I don't hear you well. But yeah, she's 10 and she's in fourth grade. She knows a little English, but she's kind of shy. Yeah, I can see, uh -huh. like you. Pero tampoco, ajá, uh -huh, like oh me. Exactly. Cuando, cuando no conoce a la gente, when she doesn't know per, uh, a person, she's like that. But she knows English, but sometimes probably she didn't understand. How old are you? Significa cuántos años tenés. <laughs> Ah, come on. Age, por eso. Eso sí es, es, I am nine years old. Sí, 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 years old. Vaya. Vaya, pues. Anyways, the, the, the number three, guys. Girls, pero uh, mejor uh, dicho, ¿verdad? Was, yes, Susana. Uh, I, was, I was driving around with friends all day on Sunday, and I ran out of gas on the freeway. 
freeway. <coughs> <coughs> so, and I ran out. Ran out. So, it's just R A U, right? That's it. Yeah. Run out. Okay. That means that this over, right? Run out. Okay, no es de correr hacia afuera, right? Antes yo sí pensaba. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and the last one, luckily. Luckily, I have uh, brought uh, my cell phone with me. Mm -hmm. so, I have brought my cell phone with me, so I called my brother for help. Good. Uh, we have only three minutes. Let me find a um, document that I wanted to share super quick. I know for questions, ya tuvieron un montón, pero necesito hay un... Voy a terminar a las a la, a la uno, a la uno, a las y uno, le voy a terminar la clase, porque para, para tener tiempo de la otra. Explanation sheet, vamos a ver si es esta. No, this is not the one. I have a document where I explain the Send difference. It to, to WhatsApp, teacher. Yeah, most likely that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> oh, this is cool. Yeah, I will. No, I will not send it to WhatsApp because I, I'm going. Uh, I mean, this is just a personalized document that I don't want to share with some people who don't deserve it, right? That's my point. Okay, but send it to me. Maybe send me a message, maybe Brandy and Susana. Uh, so I send to you this document. Uh, the document is simple. Uh, what I just did is to sum uh, is to make a summary about all the tenses. Okay, what auxiliary you use for pre simple present and what the verb the form of the verb is. For example, people, uh, uh, well, wh wh what is the the regular form to use uh, the simple present? For example, oh, we have simple present here. <clears throat> Which one could be the the key for uh, text to you? <laughs> no, no, no. Send it. Send uh, send the a private message. Word. <laughs> send me a private you message. Need a safe word. <laughs> uh -huh. No, just just teacher. Send me the file. All right, and I will send you the file. Maybe not not right now, but in um in in uh, maybe later or this coming Sunday because I need to look for the uh, for this document here. So it's very simple, actually. Yeah, it's just for you to to see the auxiliary what to use it as an auxiliary for simple present for present perfect uh for present continuous for future and the form of the verb that it should be there basically that's it okay it's not a, a like a super nice document but it helps you guide if you have like a doubt okay time off Ah, I, I have to finish the hour, so I'm going to be late with, uh, with the other group. Okay, in the meantime, <clears throat> I'm going to look for this document. Please give me a second, okay? Just give me one more minute and I'll let you go. Okay, Um, because... No, for me, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, but I have to finish my class, remember? <laughs> and the class has to be an hour exactly otherwise they make me repeat it <laughs> sometimes i mean it's not a it's not like that but i prefer to have like a high, like 60 seconds uh 60 minutes in the class so right now it's a 12 it's 901 so i'll see yeah. you tomorrow bye bye see you tomorrow see you on monday bye. have a great weekend guys bye -bye. thank you for being here guys thank you ladies que Dios me bye, la bendiga. Gracias bye, por bye. estar aquí. Bye, bye. Bendiciones a su niña. Gracias, gracias. Thank you.